Hey guys, John V from Phone Arena. You're watching our video review of the Solar Republic Trax Air. It's their wireless Bluetooth solution. You could say it's their high-end model. It's available right now for $200. And it's most notable for its modular design, which I'm gonna talk about here in a moment. But overall, overall, it has a stylish look that we like. It's hip, modern, minimalist, and very attractive overall. It's pretty sturdy too with its construction. Now what I mean by modular design is that you can actually remove the sound engine speakers and you can also interchange the headband with different options, the different colored ones. The one we have here is the ice white version, but you have an additional three more to choose from. So there's that nice level of personalization that we don't get out of other headphones. So it's pretty nice it has that. Now the, if you look closely at the headband itself, it has these two metal strips on both the left and right sides. So basically you have to align the sound engine speakers properly so that the two can actually interact with one another. So basically that's how it, it's able to send uh, data from one of the main unit here, which is the right air cup to the uh, left one. Now, with the uh, constricting nature of the headband, which is made of plastic, you could see it can bend and flex pretty well. But over a period of time, it does feel a little bit, you know, it makes it feels it makes our ears feel a little bit fatigued just because it's always so tight. But for physical activity, that's great because it's not gonna come off your head. Now, you gotta make sure when you put on the, uh, the sound engine speakers to make sure that it is high enough so it hits the actual, um, the, uh, the metal strips because if you don't, you'll probably hear only audio coming out through the one main speaker, which is the right one, and not on the left. Now for people with larger size heads, the headband seems to be not, it doesn't seem to have enough room, especially when you have this gap here on the bottom, you know, on the sides. So that's a little bit frustrating. The right ear cup is the main unit. It features pretty much all the hardware. So it has a built-in NFC, so easy pairing. You have a dedicated power button on top here, which has an LED built into it, so it glows when you charge. You have the volume controls, which kind of feel a little bit stiff. You have the microphones, micro USB port for charging its internal battery. And you have a multifunction button for pause, play, and even forward and reverse functions by doing double press and triple presses. Now it has a three and a half millimeter jack right there, as well as the left one, which is kind of odd because you'd think with those metal strips, you put one cable in, it'd be talking to the other one, but that's not necessarily the case. You could go with the wired option. The wired cable here has two separate left and right channels, which you have to use, connect to both to enable output through both uh, speakers. So the uh, pairing process is simple. Once you turn it on, it automatically goes into pairing mode or you could use NFC. So not, not, not an issue. And as far as connectivity, we get roughly around at the most 95 feet, which is pretty impressive. So if you're far away from your unit, you'll still be able to stream music directly to it. Now, as far as the performance, I gotta say that it's pretty nice. You know, it has a punchy tone, robust, good amount of depth, but it's quite obvious, just like many other speaker uh, headphones nowadays, it kind of favors the low audio range. So essentially, you're gonna hear a lot of bass, but it's not really too overpowering, which is great. So you'll still be able to make out some mids and highs in the process. Uh, but overall, for music listening, you can't go wrong with this here. As far as, um, you know, uh, for phone calls, it's also also a good solution for that. It offers noise reduction, not necessarily completely noise cancellation. So when you put it on, it kind of suppresses any background noise so your focus is on the voices. And it's still pretty usable for phone calls, so you're not gonna have too many issues even in noisy environments. Now, as far as battery life is concerned, uh, it's rated for 15 hours, but with our mixed usage, we use it approximately for two hours a day, and we managed to get 14 hours before it was completely tapped out, which is you know, on par to what, what else is out there. So we could say it's kind of average with that. But overall, for $200, it's not bad of an option. Of course, it's not quite as features rich as some of the other models that we checked out recently. And it's an on the ear style, not necessarily over the ear. Um, but the thing that stands out is that modular design, something we tend to not see in the space, and just has a very hip, modern look to it, that, which is really, really makes it attractive. Our main issues here, of course, is just how the sound engine speakers need to be placed high on the sides in order for it to work properly. So if you have larger heads, uh, you might not have the best fit, but for $200, it's not bad of an offering. 
And so if you guys want to learn more about the Soul Republic Tracks Air, you can check out our website, phonerena.com. It's John V. Thanks for watching.